The hum of generators in this neighborhood is punctuated only by the sound of fire alarms. Still blaring since being triggered by Hurricane Ian's 155 mile per hour winds. This is the roof off of the lanai right here, was floating right here. Tom McNamara says he didn't even know where to start when he pulled up in front of his home. Seems like everybody on this side of the lake, because it was, must have been open, you look from that end to that end and they're all gone. Every lanai. He moved from Massachusetts just four years ago. Ian, his first hurricane. Were you expecting to see this kind of damage when you drove up? No. I had stayed and was going to stay you know, when it was supposedly up at Tampa. Then I was watching the news and it got closer and closer. And then once they said it was headed for here, and they said, if you're in a manufactured home, you better get out. But far from being upset, Tom says he's grateful. Well, mine's bad, but not like some of them. A couple of them, I mean, you can take the clothes out of the closet from the, the yard. So we jumped in a golf cart to drive around the rest of the community. Oh, wow. Oh, you haven't seen that. This whole community is like this. Homes with roofs peeled back, recreation centers reduced to rubble, and siding materials wrapped around trees. I didn't think there'd be anything here. We didn't think there'd be anything. It's 100 mile an hour wind. I didn't figure it'd be, figure it'd be flat. But more prevalent than anything, gratitude. To have survived the storm. I've never been through anything like this, and I've been here for 17 years. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.